Welcome back, everyone, to Tawara Rumono! In the last episode, we had our first uh, combat in the game. Yeah, we, it went pretty well. Our strategy worked. I'm gonna be honest, uh, in the original version of this game, if you played it on hard one or two or three, that fight was insanely hard. Holy moly. But yeah, if you are curious, you should probably look up the game. I'm not sure where you can find it. But it's really old, I think it's 1994 or 1998, I don't remember the date. But yeah, it was a very hard fight. Also, um, I'm gonna equip some healing items on my fighters, just in case. And move on! So now we have the... F oh, we can only do the square, okay. Let's see what this has for us, in store for us. Huh? Uh, what's with this guy? Oh, it's you! Oi, Teme. So, Kono Henna men who have the Teme da. Is he talking to me? Teme ga itare ga itare. Wait, can you read my mind? Oh, maybe I was pointing at myself. This guy is a real piece of work. I can't believe he rudely addressed me out of nowhere with a hey, you. Hmm. Oh. I have no obligation to respond to someone who rudely acco accosts people with so without so much of a self introduction. Nani? Nani? I have no idea who you are. Nope. <laughs> okay. Okay.本来なら俺様から名乗るなんてことはありえねえが、俺様は寛大だ。特別なことやるぜ。だが、てめえは俺様に名乗らせたことを後悔することになる。ウェイ。いいか。その泥臭い耳くそをかっぽじってよく聞きやがれ。俺様の名はヌワンギ。ヌワンギ。何を隠そう。この国の王ロ。の
Damn, you're a hmm. Yeah, like that. Yeah, show him a Lulu. Now, to be fair, uh, that could be true because we were badly injured, but he doesn't have enough evidence. But it, it is a possibility. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's. Ishoni? Nani? Nani? <laughs> His voice is funny. Yeah, suck it. I mean, uh, what? Uh, he said it was man? Oh! Oh. Yep. Damn. <laughs> そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そ
すぐにこいつをぶっ殺してやるからよそのだからねあっあかつてない方向に折れ曲がってああ、oh, the adrenaline is keeping the pain away おおあおち He's rolling around again. <laughs> This guy has problems. I don't think you really have a choice. Then, whoa, hey! While I'm talking to him, he mounts his Wopter. But the Wopter is busy eating grass and refuses to move. Oh. oh no. Oh! The Whoopter slams the Wangi to the ground with his tail and then complies with his order or by running off. Trampling the Wangi in the process. Oh, you deserve that, dude. Oh, the humiliation, man. Oh, but that guy's gonna be trouble. Ugh. What? What was that all about? Huh? Oh. So he changed. Hey, Ruru. Ah. 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 Okay. Oh, we can do a free battle. I think that uh, we can get rewards and a bit of XP. Let's do one. I think it's the, the one we did. So it's gonna be easier. Yeah. We are. And then we can level up because we were very close last time. So let's do it. Even if it's a bit of experience, like not a lot. I still think it's worth it. Yeah, I'm gonna move here. I'm gonna move here, yeah. Oh, and they are injured, nice. That's fine. Nice. There you go. Get wrecked. Wait, yeah. Hold the line. Hold the line. Ouch. That that hurt. Yeah, hit this guy. Nice. Oh, uh, maybe. The Oro can finish him. I'm actually gonna move like here. No, here. The Oro, you move. Yeah, you, you hit that guy. There we go. One down. That's fine. Ouch. Yeah, I'm gonna move here and I'm gonna attack him for 20. Now you see I do I do more damage because of the elemental effect. So I am neutral and he's fire. I think so. I think that's how it works. Yeah, it is here now. Oh the dialogue repeats. Interesting. Yeah, skip. Yeah, that's fine. We already heard this. Yeah. And one of the best OSCs of the game, yeah. It was worth it just for that. There we go, one down. Well, two actually, but that's fine. I'm gonna move here. Yeah, heal. Level up. And that heals her as well. Very useful. 
Yeah, I'm gonna move here. I'm gonna attack this guy. Got him. 20 damage. Teoro. Look, uh, now that you can see this, I have advantage because of the ailments. Uh, I should probably see like... Oh yeah, there it is. So, it is interesting. So, Earth defeats Fire. Uh, fire beats water and then uh, wind beats earth and the thing is like uh, light and dark are very unique on itself but uh, you know that's basically it uh, on a, on a uh, you know fair and Hakuoru is special he, he has neutral element it's neither light or dark or earth none of them there we go Move here, heal Teoro. Nice. There we go. That's fine. Yeah, hit this guy. I'm gonna move here. Teoro, you here, so you block Eruru and finish this guy. There we go. And I'm getting better with the timing as well. Also, we uh, increase the seal, so I think the seal uh, uh, stays for the next fight, so that is extremely useful. So you can start every fight that you want with a full seal. And that really helps. Also, forecast. Well, forecast is like uh, what is expected to happen, like a prediction. Yeah, there we go. And then we move here. Uh, you move here and hit the monkey. Yeah, there you go, level up. Beautiful. Uh, Teoro, finish him. Nice. Wait, yeah. He's trying to get to a Ruru, but it's not gonna work. Perfect. 19 damage. A Ruru, you move here, kill Teoro. Nice. 8 experience. Move here. Almost there. And we have a full seal. And Teoro, finish it. Perfect. We did it! Yeah. Oh, and an achievement! Free battle! Uh, no, back to select stage, yeah. 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 Now we can continue with the events. So let's go to my room. What's going on? She's yelling pretty loudly. No, what? What? Oh! Whoa! Uh huh, Aruru, why are you in such a hurry? Oh! 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 She's fine. Oh, Heki Janai, yeah. While well, saying that, Eruru smears something on Eruru's hand and face. What happened? Yeah, I've been here from a long time ago. Oh! 
What in the world happened? Wow, that's brave and dangerous. Oh. Honeycombs. <laughs> so that's why you were chasing her around. You really love Aruru, don't you? Aww, Aruru. <laughs> I've been thinking for a while that. Oh, don't, don't say, oh no, I know what he's going to say. You're pretty determined. Okay, I know for sure that line was changed from the original one. I'm sure that, uh, I think he said something like, oh, you're a tomboy. So that's why she gets really sad. Yeah. Uh, that was changed for some reason. I don't know why. Huh? Looks like Aruru over, is over there. And here I thought she was long gone. It sounds like she's rustling around. What could she be doing? Oh, she's singing. She seems pretty happy for some reason. Her bushy hair is thumping back and forth. This is the first time I've seen Aruru acting like this. I wonder what's... Peeking from behind, I see her take something out of a basket. A semi-transparent fluid is oozing out of a brownish mass, like a big glob. Oh, honey! I see. That must be the honeycomb in question. It's pretty big. Given how big it is, she must have been attacked by a lot of bees. No wonder the Ruru was worried. Aruru? Oh! Oh, sorry. Did I frighten you? Huh? She retreated into silence. She was so cheerful a second ago. Um, is that the honeycomb you grabbed? I'm impressed you were able to get such a big piece all by yourself. How did you get so good at getting them? Ah, <sighs> uh, that didn't work. I thought she had gotten a little more used to me, but I guess she still hates me. Oh! Huh? Wow! That's really smart. Ah, so that's how. Did she just answer my question? It was a pretty concise explanation, but for her to even talk to me is a huge development. Even so, to get stung but that much, you must really love honey, huh? Yeah, she does. I don't agree with me. I suddenly feel all her tension about whether to run away evaporate. Is this the first time uh, we have had an actual conversation? Aruru tears the dripping honeycomb in half with her fingers and holds one piece out as if, as if offering it to me. Are you offering this to me? Oh, thank you, thanks. Does this mean I need to eat it now? Though I'm happy she offered it to me, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to eat it. There's no way I can fit the entire honeycomb in my mouth. I examined the honeycomb and noticed larva wiggling inside it. Ew! Ugh. Mm. Oh! She's staring at me. Uh oh. Mm. Here goes nothing. Munch, munch, munch. Ooh! It's sweet. It has a rich, complex, bitter sweetness to it. The first bite makes me want to take another. This could be addictive. I think I completely understand why this girl loves them so much. Wow, it's tasty! Mm. Yes! We are bonding! Aruru smiles. Her whole face lights up like a sun. She just sits there and crumbs her honeycomb into her mouth. She no longer seems to be so on guard in my presence. I sit next to her and sink my teeth in for a second mouthful. Mm. Oh! Yes! Yeah, real tasty! Huh? Just now. Oh! <laughs> yes. 
Uh, why? I don't know, softly whispers that into my ear. Yeah, for what? Oh. Very shy, okay. She did? Yeah. Aruru wanted to. Oh. There was no hesitation in her reply. It almost seemed like a ref reflex. And Eruru immediately stiffens up. Oh. Oh, another instant reply. Aruru has become a heartless hunter. <laughs> Uh, Aruru, since you have so much left over, can you give her a little? Wow, she listens to me more than to her sister. That is brutal. Eh? Because I'm a cool guy. Oh. Oh, that was so nice! Okay, uh, let's do in my room and then we can end the episode. Eruru, it's time to go. Oh, we're going to the forest? The people here go up into the forest every day. The men go to hunt and the women to gather mororo and fruits. Well, the reason I'm with the rule right now is because Tusker ordered it. She said it would help me record by moving my body a bit, but it seems like I'm just here to help carry things, yeah. As always, after going down the trail for about an hour, we arrive at an area with gigantic trees towering above us. Okay. She's praying to Yanaum Kami. A little pauses in front of the shrine. A single flower has been laid before it as an offering. It isn't particularly vibrant or beautiful. It's a small little thing and yet lovely. Oh. As she whispered that, a little gently picks up the flower and gazes it for a while. Did something happen? That's a nice flower, but for an offering, isn't it a little small and plain? Okay. Ah, what is it called? Oh, Eruru? Eruru. Nice. So you're named after this flower? Huh? Oh. Oh. Okay. ハンシュ様は周りが止めるのも聞かずに、ムチカパ様の住みかに足を踏み入れてしまったのです。それが悲劇の始まりでした。住みかを晴らされ怒り狂ったムチカパ様が、ハンシュ様の前に現れたのです
あの中の一姉妹の妹が大変重い病気にかかってしまいましたそれを治すにはとてもとても高価な薬が必要でしばらく悩んだお姉さんはある決心をし私がムティカパ様のお怒りを鎮めてみせますそれからしばらくして妹は病のとこから目を覚まします、okay. いつの間にか気分はすっかり良くなり病気だったのが嘘のようです女の子は嬉しくなってお姉さんを呼びましたでもそこには優しいお姉さんの姿はあります呼んでも呼んでも探しても探してもうんおばあちゃんが話してくれましたそのお姉さんはこの森と一つになったんだよって言い伝えでは今日がその日にあたってだからこの日ヤーナウンカミに捧げるんです、okay. お姉さんが好きだったお姉さんと同じ名前のこのお花を The same name I see that woman's name was エルル、yeah. 私この名前とお花が好きです、yeah, 子供の頃はお花と同じ名前ってあんまり好きじゃなかったんですけどそのお話をもうえこれアルハンズ something to a r u r u It's a few small flowers linked together. These flowers have a different appeal than the r u r u s もちろんこのお花も大好き。That's アルル。おお。エルルのそばに咲くからシマイグサって言われてます。Oh, that's so cute. いつまでも姉妹仲良くって意味です。Oh, that's so nice.、Ooh. I see. Long ago, huh? These flowers here and those sisters, could they. それじゃあ、行きますね。Yeah. ハコさん Yeah, I'm coming. Now then. Hmm. Okay, guys. Oh, that was a very nice event.、Uh, we had a, a really nice one, and then we met that, ugh, that disgusting guy. But, you know, we will see how the story unfolds. For now, I will end it here. Anyway, guys, see you next time. Bye bye.